quick garden update. So this was my marigold patch and I was gonna let it go fallow for next year's tomato plantings. And the reason I plant marigolds is uh, because it's supposed to be really good for root knot nematodes. And I'm just doing a test to see if I plant a cover crop of marigolds, how well it'll take care of it. I did put in some garlic here. Garlic is resistant to root knot nematodes, so there shouldn't be an issue there. This is the legumes patch, and I planted some peas and beans. These are tall telephone peas. Um, they climb up, they grow pretty big. And uh, these beans are Borlotti beans. It's just a test because I want to see if they can grow in the fall. Um, and these will use the corn stalks from the summer as support. Um, I'll be planting some fava beans in between these rows as well. And here I just put in some lettuce right in front. Uh, this is my brassicas. I have some broccoli rob planted and some Chinese broccoli and some cabbage and kale and leeks and spring onions and parsley. You can see that my cabbages are getting destroyed by the cabbage moth, the white butterfly. Uh, it makes these green caterpillars and they just eat up everything. I think it's a combination of those and slugs. So <clears throat> I'll probably be replanting some of the stuff in here. Maybe leave the healthiest uh, plants. Um, so yeah, this was kind of a test. I planted a little early, too early, I think. Um, and due to the nice weather, they've been kind of growing out of control. Uh, the insects, that is, the pests. This next plot is uh, the last tomato, pepper, and basil plot that I have. There's still a few green tomatoes on here, so I haven't pulled it out and I have a bunch of um, habanero peppers on the plant right here so I'm just kind of waiting to harvest some more of it I think I'm gonna pull the tomatoes very soon and maybe just leave the um, the pepper plant to finish ripening we've had such a nice fall weather that I think these could be going for a lot longer but um, I need to make room and I need to plant garlic in this plot next This next bed, um, I have some more lettuce planted, a single leek plant, <laughs> um, and also uh, the, that last plant is an undive plant, and these are some uh, carrots, and a bunch of weeds. You might notice this part, this half of this plot has no mulch on it, and I'm just, I just wanted to demonstrate how many more weeds you get when you have uncovered soil. Um, you can see I had some sunflowers there that are setting seed and there's a small amaranth plant and a bunch of bean plants uh, interplanted with some tomato plants. So you can see I left the the stalks, uh, the corn stalks up and the bean plants are, are climbing. I planted these I think sometime in September and they're starting to climb and they're starting to set, uh, starting to get beans just now. Um, there's a couple of uh, pea plants in the back there too. Here there's some uh, lettuce going to seed um, as well as some broccoli plants and Chinese cabbage and uh, interplanted with uh, some onions, some radishes and I've put some garlic bulbs in the middle of uh, some of these plants as well, just waiting for them to sprout. The broccoli I planted in the beginning of September, and you can see it's uh, growing pretty well, but it is also being plagued by the green caterpillars of the white cabbage moth. You can see one of the caterpillars right here, right on that leaf. You can see how they're all eaten. Um, it's kind of tough to battle these, but um, what I've been doing is just trying to pick them off as much as I can and kill the uh, white butterflies as soon as I see them. The chickens love these. They love the caterpillars. So really torn up there's
there's another one. Is it good? <laughs> Here's one of the broccoli plants starting to flower. We'll see how big these uh, florets get. Uh, in the same bed I have some chime di rape or the broccoli rob that I mentioned earlier. And um, these are delicious. They're an Italian type of uh, baby broccoli, I guess. and. They're great with uh, spaghetti. There's a typical dish called spaghetti and cime di rape that we make in southern Italy. It's made with anchovies, olive oil, uh, pepper, and spaghetti, and these things boiled in there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to harvest these for a meal that we'll have later today. This was also my previous uh, squash bed and I still have one of the butternut squash plants that started coming back in the fall with the mild weather and it's setting to really nice sized uh, butternuts so I'm just leaving it in there till they fully ripen and I'll be taking the plant out very soon though probably in the next three weeks or so. This is uh, going to be the alliums bed, the garlic and onion bed. Um, over the summer I planted tomatoes and peppers in here and basil and I pulled my tomatoes and then I put in some beets as a in-between crop and I already planted garlic a couple of weeks ago and you can see that it's starting to sprout it's just starting to peek out um, where I planted the beets I'll be pulling those and putting in onions uh, probably sometime in December You can see this is um, another one of my habanero plants. Not as prolific as the other one, but I'm also waiting for the rest of these to ripen so I can pick them. This is a second marigold bed. I left these. These are still in here. I'm waiting for these flowers to go to seed. I'm going to harvest some of the seeds for next year. But basically this will also be the bed for tomatoes and peppers next year, next summer. Uh, and this is my strategy to get rid of root knot nematodes. Uh, here you can see I was in the middle of composting. I'm filling up this geo bin with the material you see on the right. And then I have my older, my wood chip pile you may have seen in my other videos over there on the far right uh, that I've started using as basically a mulch. I'll do more videos on composting later on. On the other side here, I have my mini orchard. Um, you can see I have a, a few different plants, grapevines, a few different varieties. And I have some uh, nectarine trees, cherry trees, uh, as well as an apple. Uh, and an Asian pear that died on me, I think it got hit with fire blight. And it was pretty devastating. This, this tree flowered amazingly well and it grew amazingly well in the spring it was beautiful full of white flowers and then it just started systematically dying I'm gonna have to pull that out uh, here it's a little messy you have some cleanup to do these are my pots that did not have a whole lot of success this year I think it was my first time trying to grow tomatoes in pots and um, over on this side I have a couple more fruit trees a fig tree that's been growing beautifully, another big nectarine, and some rosemary bushes, another cherry that I just planted, brand new one, small tree. This fig tree almost tripled in size this year, and I'm pretty sure it's because my son has been uh, fertilizing it himself. On a weekly basis, he goes near the tree and pees. <laughs> 
and uh, it's just had a, a huge growth spurt. Um, this is a, a parsimon tree. It's been doing really well, growing year after year. It's got a lot of nice fruit set. We'll start picking that very soon. Here I have uh, some pomegranates. This uh, pomegranate tree slash bush started with like a as a very small plant, and it just took off. It's hard to keep it under control. Um, not a huge crop this year. I think I need to prune it more heavily. We'll do a better job. Last year actually was much more full than this, but uh, still plenty of pomegranates. More than we can eat. Here's uh, the seedlings I have going right now. I always have something growing, but um, there's some more lettuce, some onion seedlings, uh, some leeks, uh, some cabbage, some kale, broccoli, uh, fava beans. I have some cuttings of some tomatoes. I'm trying to hoping they'll root before it gets too cold and. Um, Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much a full tour of my garden, and I'll keep giving updates, see how things go over the winter. Um, and yeah, hope you stay tuned. If you enjoy these, uh, please comment in the, in the comment section, subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.